reached a bipartisan framework for a one-year spending deal. But key Republican leadership may not be on the same page here. House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy slammed Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for working with Democrats on that spending deal. I want to talk about how the Democrats just secured funding for the government for the next year. Effectively, making Kevin McCarthy's new Republican MAGA Congress absolutely ineffectual. So we've heard that, you know, behind the scenes, McCarthy was open, at least, to a large spending deal to wrap up the year. What is happening here publicly? What's going on? Yeah, this is the hope yes, vote no caucus. Many Republicans that I talked to believe that McCarthy is actually privately rooting for this spending bill to pass. The reason is because if he does become speaker, the last thing he wants to deal with is having to address a potential government shutdown upon immediately taking power. We got everything we wanted and everything we needed. And more importantly, the government is not going to shut down. And there's not a goddamn thing those House Republicans can do about it. At the same time, he's been struggling to win over some of his conservative critics. They have been pressing him to take a harder line on spending issues, to stand up to McConnell, uh, on a number of those things. And so that is why you see McCarthy out there publicly railing against the spending deal. And he took a public shot at McConnell, who has been trying to work behind the scenes to get this deal done. And sources tell us that McConnell was blindsided by that, and he was really caught off guard. Kevin McCarthy wants to pretend like... He is absolutely against this. How dare these Republicans deal with these Democrats? The reality is he knows he can't get a budget passed. So he's quietly thanking God. But in public, he's going to come out strong to really shore up his support in the Republican House. See how, how tough he was on McConnell. See how tough he was on those Democrats. He's trying to hold the line. Now, McCarthy held a press conference uh, not too long ago where he again talked about the spending deal and spoke out against it. He did not mention McConnell by name, but he did criticize the Republican and Democratic senator who helped broker this deal. Take a listen. I propose that you have two senators who are gone. You just had an election where we changed the course where the House is now going to be controlled by Republicans. You have Democrats who controlled all and didn't do their job are now going to try to jam us right before Christmas. A bill that funds the entire government, that we don't have any input in and others. It wouldn't have anything to do with being speaker. It has to do with the American public and what the future of America is going to be when it comes to fiscal resources. I'm sorry, Kevin. Your new Congress doesn't start until January 6th. The Democrats are still in charge. And... Looks like we got our budget. Just like I knew we would. And I hate to say it, I almost feel bad. Very good, Mitch McConnell. I don't know if he did it to save your own ass or if he did it to save Republican asses. I don't give a damn. Joe Biden's going to get reelected, y'all. Y'all take it easy. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. New York Mayor Eric Adams spoke today at the National Mathematics Improvement Project, but this is sad. He used the opportunity to promote division. <laughs> Coming around, you guys, you know what's happening right now. You're doing the math on that joke and it's working up. It's adding up, it's adding up.